Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we are going to learn about Azure App Service Plan. The different topics we are going to learn is what is Azure App Service Plan? How much does it cost? And some of the common questions you can expect on an app service. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Azure App Service include web apps, mobile apps, and API apps. All three of this always runs in an app service plan. In addition, Azure Functions also have the option of running in an app service plan. An app service plan defines a set of compute resources for a web app to run. These compute resources are analogous to the server farm in conventional web hosting. One or more apps can be configured to run on the same computing resources or in the same app service plan. So let's quickly go and find out how you can create an app service plan. I'm on my Azure portal. I'm going to go click on create a new app service and select the Azure app service I want to create. And basically it asks you to provide a bunch of information. The first thing is where do you want to host this? So if you have multiple subscriptions, so you can choose one from here. I'm going to choose one subscription over here. You can choose an existing resource group or you can create a brand new one. So I'm going to choose an existing resource group, AZ204, and give a name for your app service. So I'm going to call it as app service test AZ204. Then you have option to either choose a code or a Docker container. So we will talk about these things in the later stage. So right now, what I want to show you is the app service plan. So the app service plan pricing tier determines the location, features, cost, and compute resources associated with your app. So when you create an app service, the app service plan is created for you, the name. You would be able to change the SKU size here. So click on change size. This will give you an ability to choose different size. As you can see here, there is a specification picker. This will give you an ability to choose, do you want a dev test environment that adequately displays the different types of pricing tiers you can choose. For mostly for testing, for learning, I would recommend you to pick a plan or a service from this dev test environment. You can click on to see additional options, which gives you different pricing tiers as well. For production environments, you have multiple options here. So as you can see that based on a customer requirement, you can pretty much choose any of these different SKUs. Each SKUs have different pricing. Because I'm using a New Zealand subscription, the pricing is in New Zealand dollars. For a P1 V2, it is going to cost me around 122 or nearly $123 approximately if I run this service 24-7 for the whole month. If your workload requires any isolated environment, you have isolated options as well. But the cost will significantly increase based on the option you choose. So the pricing tier of an Azure App Service plan determines what app service features you get and how much you pay for the plan. The pricing tiers available to your app service plan depend on the operating system selected at the creation time. So let's go through different categories for this pricing tier. The first one is shared compute. Shared compute has free and shared. These are the base tiers. You can use this to run an app on the same Azure Virtual Machine as other app service apps, including apps of other customers. These tiers allocate CPU quotas to each app that runs on the shared resources and the resources cannot scale out. The next one is dedicated compute. This has basic, standard, premium and premium version 2. Now additionally you get premium version 3 tiers as well. You will be able to use this to run apps on dedicated Azure virtual machines. Only apps in the same app service plan share the same compute resources. 
the higher the tier, the more VM instances are available to you for scale out. The last one is isolated. The isolated and isolated version 2 tiers run dedicated Azure virtual machines on dedicated Azure virtual networks. This provides network isolation on top of compute isolation to your applications. It provides the maximum scale out capabilities. Please note that app service free and shared service plans are base tiers that run on the same Azure Virtual Machine as other app service apps. Some apps might belong to other customers and these tiers are intended to be used only for development and testing purposes. Now that we have learned about Azure App Service Plan and the different pricing tiers, let's look into some of these questions. What if you want to know how you can run and scale your app service? And how much does your app service is going to cost you? And what if you need more features and capabilities for your app service? Let's find that out. The first question is, how does my app service run and scale? In the free and shared tiers, an app receives CPU minutes on shared virtual machine instance and cannot scale out. In other tier, an app can run and scale. So when you create an app in app service, it is put into an Azure app service plan. When the app runs, it runs on all the virtual machine instances configured in the app service plan. If multiple apps are on the same Azure app service plan, they all share the same VM instances. The next question may be, how much does your app service plan cost you? So let us look into the app service pricing page. As you can see that there are free, shared, basic, standard, premium, and isolated. Except for the free tier, an app service plan carries a charge on the compute resource it uses. In the shared tier, each app receives a quota of CPU minutes, so each app is charged for the CPU quota. In the dedicated compute tiers, which is basic, standard, premium, which include premium version 2 and version 3, the app service plan defines the number of VM instances the apps are scaled to, so each VM instance in app service plan is charged. These VM instances are charged the same regardless of how many apps are running on them. So to avoid unexpected charges, please clean up the app service plan. In the isolated tier, the app service environment defines the number of isolated workers that run your application and each worker is charged. In addition, in the isolated tier, there is a flat stamp fee for running the app service environment itself and you don't get charged for using the app service features that are available to you, such as configuring custom domain, TLS SSL certificates, deployment slots, backups, etc. Another question is, what if your app needs more capabilities or features? Your app service plan can be scaled up and down at any time. It is as simple as changing the pricing tier of the plan. And you can choose a lower pricing tier at first and scale up later when you need more app service features. The same works in the reverse as well. When you feel you no longer need the capabilities or features of a higher tier, you can scale down to a lower tier, which saves you money. Alright, so that concludes the episode 3. In the next episode, we are going to learn how to create an Azure App Service web application using Azure Portal. So I will take you through a walkthrough. So I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.